Many people ask, how much additional work will an energy management system generate? A system should generate no additional work. It becomes part of your daily business activities. And in this module, we look at the business aspects of energy management. Business leaders across the globe are looking to improve energy use as a strategic tool in their business improvement plans. The lowest possible energy use and the lowest CO2 emissions are necessary elements in achieving the highest quality business output. Energy is often perceived of as a technical issue, but as we pointed out in the second module, the reality is that people are a key factor in energy management. It is people who make choices about the amounts of energy they consume and the forms of energy they use. Without an appreciation of people's energy choices and their ability to use energy efficiently, an effective system cannot be implemented. In fact, the management of people's choices and skills is the mo main purpose of introducing an energy management system. It's been proven in many industrial sectors that proper energy management is the most economical way to gain operational efficiency. It improves profitability through risk-free and minimal investment. Why? Because people in the workplace using energy in the most efficient way to run the business is the major player. You can think of business in terms of energy movement. Every business provides products or services that can be viewed as energy sources that allow customers to gain satisfaction, comfort or profit. Energy efficiency reduces the energy you consume for each of the products or services you produce. In other words, energy efficiency increases your productivity. Energy management is not only the management of energy consumption, it's also the management of business outputs, and that's why energy management is a serious business matter. Once you've implemented a sound energy management system, there will be opportunities for partnerships with your suppliers and customers. As energy manager, you can ask suppliers for products or services that are in accordance with your energy management goals, thus gaining energy efficiency business benefits. You can also act as a promoter of energy efficiency efficient business. You will be able to guarantee to customers that your products or services conform to their energy efficiency requirements and that they will gain the energy efficiency benefits of that. In that way, you can develop networks and partnerships throughout your supply chain that will help your business to grow. The purpose of energy management is to improve energy performance, not to reduce energy consumption. When your business picks up, your energy consumption is bound to go up with it, and your CO2 emissions may grow as well. What is important is that you continue to improve your energy performance as you increase energy consumption. If you strive for best practice in energy efficiency, it will improve your competitiveness. It may even force some of your competitors somewhere around the world out of business.